Hey guys, it's Tam. It's Candy. We're it's Tandy. Andy. And welcome to our November 2015 faves. I would like to start with my new spectacles. Ooh. So these are um, my new glasses. I just got them like a few days ago and I'm really loving them. Um, the only thing is that I feel like they're a little bit lean. They're a little bit tilt, like, whenever I put them on, they look like they're, you know, I got punched in the face. <laughs> they're a little bit on a slant. But other than that, they're great. Don't find me. Okay, good. Because I also got new glasses, but I'm wearing contacts, so I'm gonna be blind for one second. <laughs> but they're very similar. Oh, look at that. Someone smart. <laughs> put them on, they make you smart. So. Yeah, they make you smart automatically. Right now, I'm really dumb. <laughs> my Shine Free um, Fit Me Maybelline Foundation in the color 235. So this is not, I don't use this all over my face. I just use it for my highlight because it's um, it's really light. Um, but I really like the consistency of it. It's very like sheer, um, kind of illuminating cover. Like I, I don't know how to um, describe it. It just made me look glowy in the, you know, in the dull November month. My highlighter of the month is Champagne by MAC. I usually always use Glissade like all the time because it's so nice. But this one's very... I'm really into like the gold right now. The other one's kind of like rosy. And I just really like this one. And this bad boy is uh, my NYC um, eyebrow pencil in the color taupe. I just got this a few days ago actually and... My eyebrows are non-existent, um, so I usually like to use a deep brown because when I use a black, it just looks like, no matter how light my hand is, it just looks like I have a sh <laughs> I drew it in with a sharpie. So the d deep brown, like this is actually a bit lighter than a deep brown. It's taupe, so I didn't know if it would work with like my skin tone and stuff. But depending on what wig I have on, basically, like I have to draw my eyebrows in differently, but. I feel like this will be able to go with most um, hair colors that I have, so. How much is that? This is very cheap. This is like two bucks. I got this like for like two bucks at Shoppers Drug Mart. And that was probably expensive because Shoppers Drug Mart is expensive, so yeah. it's probably actually only 50 cents. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I forgot. I have another highlight from ColourPop. I got this like last month. And it's called Tease Cake, and I love it. I love the color. Um, but I just recently found out that it, I should put it on with my finger because I put it on with a brush before and because it's really creamy. Oh. So I put it on with a brush and it like broke. Like Can it I was just like. It on my hand? Yeah. Like, it just like. Oh, you know what it reminds me of? Did not work. So if you have this, definitely use your finger to put it on, not a brush. You know what this reminds me of? The, the, the Maybelline Dream Matte Bounce. Um they had like a blush do you know what i'm talking no. about and you, you would just poke it with your finger and it was just fun to poke <laughs> because it was so no. bouncy and, and creamy yeah. favorite for november is the bronze goddess soft matte bronzer um by essay lauder where did you get that i don't know <laughs> <laughs> and it's really nice like it looks really matte in the um in the compact but it um it goes on with a little bit of a sparkle. It depends on your lighting or whatever, but it's actually really pretty. This month I'm really loving Cabana Boy by The Bomb. It's very like dark and pig pigmented, which I'm liking for the fall. So I usually use like natural or kind of light pink colors or peach, but this month I'm really feeling this one. That's very pretty. That's pretty. Um, For lipstick, I will go with my NYX NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. It's in the color Transylvania. So this is a really nice fall winter color. It's a very deep kind of like um, berry uh, burgundy kind of color and it's really pretty. I really like how it applies with like a thin layer of lip balm or like Vaseline underneath and then it kind of gives like a sheer finish. So this is really pretty for the winter months. Stick, I've been using um... Color pop, it went away, faded. Um, in the color beeper, 
I love this color. I think it it's really funny because I looked at swatches and like it looks so different on everybody. Are you wearing it now? No, I'm wearing Whirl right now, mm -hmm. which I also is also a favorite. But um, I love their matte lipsticks. They're, I did a review on them, but I am liking them better than I did before. I don't know why, but... Um, You're getting used to the Yeah, I guess I'm stuff. getting used to them, and I love this color. And I also really want to try Kylie's lip kit. Even though I don't, oh. I don't want to make her any more money than she already has. <laughs> but I did try, and it was sold out in two minutes. So, so where, where is, like, because I, I read this online that she's starting this lip line, but yeah. I, like, I don't know where it's sold. It's it just hers. So, like, she's not even sharing it with any company. <laughs> like, it's just her <laughs> making the money. Like, so, like, what, like where is website. she selling? Like, off her website. She's not selling it for lip kit. Yeah, it's Kylie's lip kit website. Like, so is it? Is there's it, only three shades. But what does she mean by kit? Does it come with it a comes liner? With, yeah, like a lip liner and lipstick a, and gloss. Or something? Yeah, a matte um, liquid lipstick. Okay. So it's also just those. I'm not sure, but I did hear that they're very similar to ColourPop's. So which the, are five dollars? So yeah, yeah. <laughs> the lip liner and the uh, ultra matte liquid lipstick. So but, but it the doesn't, colors it look doesn't really matter nice. if it's. Um, it's similar because it's it has her name on it. That's true. So. And I can't lie, I'm a big fan of Kylie Jenner, so I do, like, I feel like people will just think that, like, if they get it, their lips will look like hers. Well, the thing won't. is, is that what you have to do is you have to get lip injections, That's like true. she did, so. Yeah. And the thing is, is it's funny because she actually said, I got lip injections, yeah. and, like, people still people think like, yeah. that it's the color that she's wearing. <laughs> like, she knows she got lip injections. Yeah. Anyways, continuing. <laughs> Um, I'll just go on. I just bought this, like, last week, but I use it every day since then. I love it. It's the Holiday Palette from MAC, and I bought it because it was 35% off, which was awesome. And the Burgundy Times 9 palette, so it ended up being, like, $30, which is, I like, think I saw those in good store. Deal. Let, me, let me see. I love these colors. Like, I like, like, the, yeah. the burgundy and everything, so it's good for everyday use, especially for the fall. And for my last thing, um, this is my nail color right now. It's a very hot pink, and it's called Boom Boom. Um, 851, and it's the Sinful Colors. And it's very matte and opaque. Like, when you paint it on, I needed to do a top coat over, like, the, the two layers that I did, and I didn't, so it started chipping off. But it's really pretty, and I know it's, like, a summery spring color, but it gives me... I usually wear black and like a lot of dark colors, so then when I look down at my nails, I'm like, oh, you know, there's still hope in the world. It's, you know, it's cheerful, it's bright. So, you know, if you want to add a pop of color into your look for this fall and winter, you don't have to do it. You can do it subtly, like through your nails or something, so. Sinful colors from Target. That's This right. is what was in my haul last week, and I absolutely love it. I think I already said that in the haul, but um, it's my new favorite for matte. If you want matte skin, not oily, it's really good to put on like after you put on your makeup. And it eventually, obviously, will get oily again, but not that quick. And you put it on again, and it just lasts all day. So, so is it like really a good. setting powder, or yeah. is it a, okay? It's a translucent setting powder, so mm -hmm. it's really cool. And then just the other week when I bought the palette as well, I asked the lady who's so nice at Mac. Um, who, I mean, what <laughs> mascara would be good for long eyelashes? Because I've tried MACs before and they're not great. Like, every time they suggest, I think they, what was it, the Play, something Play mascara. Mm -hmm. I don't know, which is like their best seller for long lashes. That did not work for me at mm -hmm. all. And this was like a newer one. It's called Upward Lash, um, in Upward Black. And it didn't look that great. This is the up here you probably can't see but it's actually so good it's probably one of my I use the bourgeois one um, with the two the two step process. yeah the two step process ultra black um, which would used to be my favorite and this one is like pre basically the same for me it's just the other one is more volume and this one is more length mm -hmm. the only thing about this one is it has a lot of like fallout like it, on my face I noticed during the day it gets on, but I can just wipe it, it off. It dries and then falls on your cheeks. Yeah. Yeah. But honestly, I just see it and I wipe it off. But like, they're so good <laughs> and they stay, like, when I curl them, it stays up 
for so long so and that's why it's called awesome. upward yes because it's staying up. upward yes. so those were our favorites for november 2015 next week for some fun festive videos we're gonna have some do-it-yourself christmas ideas and some makeup looks to look forward to so stay tuned and we'll see you then bye, bye.